Hello, good evening, I'm Oral Gibbs, and welcome to Oral Gibbs Live. And my guest this evening for the first time on Oral Gibbs Live is none other than the founder of a new political party. He's none other than Mr. Benjamin Ortega. How are you doing, sir? Fine, thank you, Mr. Gibbs. Well, thank you for being my guest here this evening, and uh, I'll let you tell us about your party and the name of your party. Well, first and foremost, let me just uh, thank you, Mr. Gibbs, for uh, inviting me to your studio and making this happen. Um, after watching your uh, program for many years, it, was, uh, it is an honor for me to be here, finally. Um, my name, as you said, is Benjamin Ortega. I, um, I'm the founder of uh, one of the new political parties, which is a uh, Saint Martin Development Movement. Um, I believe that uh, we should be considered a progressive party that is for, for a true change on Saint Martin. All right. So again, it's good to have you here, and, and I know that we, we lived on the same street in Saint Peter's. Right? That is correct for many years. <laughs> right. For many years. So. Um, before we get to the part where you start this party, maybe you have to share with us a little bit about your, your background, etc. Well, as you said already, uh, Mr. Gibbs, um, I'm, a, I'm a St. Peter's child, as, they, as they, some of them say. Uh -huh. um, I was born here in St. Martin in uh, 1974, um, St. Rose uh, Hospital, where uh, many of us uh, <laughs> came out of, I must say. Um, yeah, so after, after staying, staying on St. Martin for, for, for quite some time, I uh, attended the Milton Peters College after my, uh, my uh, primary school. Um, I did the Marvel. I went to Holland to uh, further my studies. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there uh, I was in Groningen. And, uh, Groningen is up north in, in the Netherlands. And it's a, it's, a, it's a good place to be for, for students, uh -huh. I must say. I, I learned a lot up in, up in, uh, up in Groningen. Um, well, there's where I uh, did my uh, civil engineering uh, studies. Mm -hmm. I completed that studies uh, shortly, uh, I think within the due time. And I stayed in the Netherlands uh, working and, and growing on my, on my family and uh, my career for almost like 14 and a half years. And in 2007, I uh, decided together with my family to return to St. Martin. Uh, it was uh, a long overdue uh, return home, I must so say. You didn't want to stay in the Netherlands? It's not about they don't want to stay, Mr. Gibbs. Um, you know, as, 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 a, as a young Caribbean man, you, you always had the, the, the dream of, uh, of going somewhere big. And um, I, was, I was fortunate enough uh, to accomplish that dream by, uh, by receiving a scholarship to go to the Netherlands and to study. Um, and, 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 and I must say that it was pretty much okay for me. Um, it wasn't home, mm. but I made it home. I believe that home is where you make it. And um, I had a very successful time in, in the Netherlands. Um, you know, you have always your ups and downs, but I was, uh, I, I did well, I did well. Uh, Career-wise, it was really good, studies-wise, I met my wife there. Um, but after a while, you know, uh, things change. Uh, you feel the butterflies in your stomach. Every time you come back home on vacation, it was, it was even getting harder and harder to leave, mm -hmm. you know, leave your home. Uh -huh. So uh, shortly after, in 2007, as I said, we decided to, uh, to take the, the, the big step and return back home. So now that you're, you're, you're back in St. Martin, and um, where did you work when you came back? Well, I first started, I was uh, fortunate enough uh, to, uh, to, 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 to land a job with government, and in particular what we call now the Vromi department, the Vromi sector, and uh, infrastructure man management department, which is uh, known as, the, at that time, the ROB, or, uh, or public works in the, in the common, you know, in the common right. way. Um, there I, uh, I, I learned a lot within, within government and how government, government apparatus of St. Martin worked. Um, bear in mind that my studies in the Netherlands also took me to many, uh, many governments and many municipalities. I worked not only in, in the Netherlands, but I did work for Poland, I did work for South Africa, for Suriname. I was, uh, I was pretty much a, you know, all roundsman when it comes to um, urban development. Um, one of the last uh, uh, municipalities I worked for in the Netherlands was Heer uh, and strikingly, that Hedo is, is is much to compare also with St. Martin. 
not only the size, but also the type of, 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 of gemeente, as they call it in Dutch. Um, so it was, a, it was a good transition for me to come from the Netherlands, to come back home to St. Martin, working for government, and in a field of uh, the interest that I, that, I much, uh, that I much had all knowledge in. Um, as a project uh, and manager for, uh, for public works, I did a lot of, um, let me say, the, the, the larger, the larger pub public works projects, maintenance projects. Um, uh, I could be seen on, uh, on late nights uh, doing the asphalt with the, the various contractors, and that is, what, that is what I love to do. That's what I love to do. So how long did you stay working with uh, the government? Well, I, I came in 2007. To, uh, back to St. Martin, and I left government in 2011, mid-year 2011, yes. So where are you now? I'm, um, I'm at that famous place where they call the port. Oh, the People just call it the pier. <laughs> <laughs> You're working out now on the pier? <laughs> yeah, I'm working for Port St. Martin now and uh, as a facility manager, mm -hmm. and I, that too is also something I love. Uh, I, I always try to put my heart into everything that I do. And the port right now also has my heart with regards to uh, the work that I'm doing. Yes. So um, when, you, when you decided to form a political party, was this something you had way back in your mind or it just happened? You know, it, everything has, has its time period, I must say. Everything has its time period to evolve to where it is and where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, I was always very much interested in, in government. In, 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 in the way that government functions. Um, that primarily, from a professional standpoint, um, the better you know the apparatus that you're working for and working within, um, the more successful you will be. Um, and in that journey, in that career, um, I, I, I grew to love the, the, the manner in which um, it functions. Um, and I, I must say, when I say to love the manner in which it functions, the way I functioned within government. Um, I think that, that, that a civil servant is, is, is a powerful person um, that, has, that has a task upon them to, 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 to contribute to the well-being of their country. And, and that's where you find the love of, of, of being a civil servant, working within your government, and, and, and making things happen in that, whatever that small or large sector that you're in. And, and there's where the, the, the interest became more and more for, 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 for politics, you know, if I may call it that. Um, knowing that above the civil servant, we have our political field, our political side of, of, of government that also has its love and also should have its, 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 its way of, of, of dealing with the day-to-day -day, uh, transitioning of, of, of from, from, from public to, to, to private, et cetera. Uh, did you get the impression uh, when you work with government that uh, as, as a local engineer, your opinions didn't value much? No, I can't, I can't say that. Um, if anyone knows uh, Benny, as they call me on the street that many times, um, they know that Benny stands and Benjamin stands for straightforwardness. Um, I think I had a job to do, we have a job to do, and we should do it the best of our abilities. I think when you, when you are asked, when you're put in a position to, to give your opinion, mm -hmm. you should give it full-heartedly. So no, I don't think that I, I allowed um, others to, 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 yeah, to, to, to swindle me around, as, as, as I call it. Um, I think you should be f straightforward, and when, when, when you have a job to do, just do your job and do it to the best of your abilities. Yeah. I, I like how you put it, uh, you didn't allow, because too often I, I hear from a lot of people, especially people who are uh, engineers and, and, and work in the sector that you work, that is over the years, mm -hmm. It's very difficult for them, for their ideas to really come up because it was always looked upon as inferior. They had to go abroad and get someone else's idea. And when they came in, then it was just like the original local idea or things were done without really understanding the local environment, like for example, how the water flow on heavy rain gaze, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera. Other engineers came from abroad, 
messed up the whole thing. He wasn't there at the time. But those nope. are the stories yep. that I've heard from, from engineers and so forth that work for government. I've, I've heard those stories, <laughs> too, Mr. Gibbs. And, you know, and unfortunately, at times, those stories can be true. Um, I, I do believe it's in, in, in your way of packaging it. Mm. Um, you know, living in big countries, as, as, as many of, 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 of St. Martin's also have experienced, because um, I was not the only one. I, will, I would definitely not the only one, and I will definitely be the last one to have received the opportunity to, 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 to go away and, and study in, in, in countries that, that will benefit or study something that will benefit the country that we call home, the country we call St. Martin. Um, I do believe that, 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 that we, as, as, as St. Martiners, need to invest more in, in our locals, our local engineers, in our local persons that know the real story behind some things. You know, um, when I was working in, abroad in, in whichever country it is, you need to, 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 to rely on that local flavor to improve that whatever good idea you have. And, and finding the, 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 I say, the, 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 the good melt between the local know-how, the innovative thinking, or a new something, and blending that together might just be the formula that we're looking for. And some other times, you don't need a new formula. Sometimes it's just the old way of doing things is the best way. Um, so it, it, it all depends on the situation. Um, uh, we, again, as, as, as government at that time, I think when I was working there, I received all opportunities to bring in my ideas and, and, and bring in my uh, foreign local flavor to the table. For example, the um, Colby Hill, the AGC Browse Road. Um, that is one that I, I took, I, I take and I took a lot of pride as putting that on my, uh, on my notch. Um, as, as a local engineer, together with a contractor, there was no other consultant involved in that. I got that opportunity from my, from, from my department manager and, at that time, the director of, uh, of ROB to, 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 to engineer that road. And I must say, it's one of the, one of the still standing roads after all of the years that, is, that, is, uh, that has passed. It's still a good road. See, because the thing I'm seeing lately, uh, there are so many consultants working for government that you ask mm -hmm. yourself, uh, why is government spending all of this money uh, on a department or on a ministry when there's so many consultants that are paid really, really astronomical fees? Well, you know, Mr. Gibbs, I'm, I'm, I, I can't comment on how much they're getting paid because but I didn't uh, give a figure, but I know. It <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, the, the stories out there. Again, I, I call it stories. I, I believe that um, in 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 every good functioning organization, you need. Um, a balance. Um, you need a balance between uh, young and old. You need a balance between new, and you need a balance between innovation. You need a balance between a lot of different things. Um, I do believe within that balance, there's a time frame for everything. And there should be a proper process and procedure in everything that you do also. Um, why I'm saying this, there's, there's nothing wrong with, with us bringing in consultants to give that extra that we might, may, or may not have. But the process behind it, Mr. Gibbs, should also be that we should learn from those consultants, that we should take the steps to work alongside those consultants, that when the time frame comes that, that the consultant is, 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 is ready to go or the work is done, they have left behind a, 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 a bit of learning, a bit of experience that we could implement in our daily and, and also in the manner in which we, we function here on the island. And I think that is key when we're talking about balance uh, of, 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 of extra um, personnel or expertise coming to the island. Now, as, as founder of this new political party, are you what are your vision? What do you see key? If you had to pick, say, four or five areas, and these are the key parts of my vision for St. Martin, what will it be? Mr. Gibbs, first and foremost, um, why we started SDM, St. Martin Development Movement. Um, note that we did not call it a party. 
although it's seen as a political party. We did not call it a party, because we see it as something that should be moving forward, a movement. It has a greater meaning for us. It has a greater meaning for me. Um, we believe that, that, that change is inevitable. We need to change to survive evolution. We believe at the same time that St. Martin, as a young country, needs more adaptation to the situations that we are living in right now. We need to throw away the old way of doing things. And I'm not saying that the old way of doing things were so wrong. It brought us where we are today. But in the change process that we are in, we need to bring something new to the table. It is, it is, it is a given fact that from since 10, 10, 10, that we have been in political turmoil. And I use the words, and I'm sad to say political turmoil, because it's only ups and downs. There have only been ship jumping issues. There have been slander issues. There are a lot more issues on the table now than ever before. And this, this is more than, than, than noticeable that we need a change. We need a change in way how we look at St. Martin. We need a change in the way how we look at the people of St. Martin. And we believe with coming with, with actions rather than just talk, we will bring that change forward. We believe that, uh, you know, we were talking before, Mr. Gibbs, and, and I mentioned that we need to improve rather than to expand. If you look at our infrastructure, and that's very, that's very dear to me, as, as being my background, you look at our infrastructure. I don't see anything wrong with our infrastructure. What I see that our infrastructure needs improvement. We need better lines, street, street names, street signs, lighting. And, and this we could, we could bring across the board for many other things. If you look at the social development, if you look at housing, we just need to improve the way that how we look at things. We need to improve the way that that, that, that our people are living. We need to improve the quality of life for our people. And finding proper solutions to do so is hard, but it's not impossible. I believe, we believe that we are too busy fighting each other instead of looking for proper solutions to save each other. So. When you heard that uh, election that was scheduled for February 9 was going to be postponed, was that you very disappointed? Um, I think disappointment, Mr. Gibbs, was or is not the right words to use. Um, somewhat astonished that in these times that we live in, that that could have still happened, although we did call it. We did call it in one of our articles that we came out with before that. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to reflect too much on that article because it was, it was a little hard. But the reason being is that we, the people of St. Martin, mm -hmm. seems at times that we don't have much to say. And although I am a political leader, political party leader, I am also a person of St. Martin. I'm also a citizen of this great country we call home. And when we set forward in a certain direction, and when a small group decides to change this without proper notification, without proper, proper justification, because they found that they was done just, or unjust, and it needs to go a different direction, et cetera, et cetera, that's, that hurts. I think a lot of people on St. Martin are hurting right now. And maybe we can't speak for the, for the, for the, for the, greater, the greater crowd or the greater amount of St. Martin, but the people in my background, the people next to me, in front of me, inside of me, they are hurt. And many people are saying, well, me? I ain't voting no more. I done with this. Why? Because they are not shown that as if they count. When decisions can be made that influence all of us, in a will. That is wrong. So yes, we felt, we felt hurt. We felt, we felt um, disappointed. 
um, in, 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 in the system. Nevertheless, we are confident mm -hmm. that whenever elections will be, that we will come with a good program. We will come with a strong program, a program of change, and that the people of St. Martin will be, will be enlightened to the realities of politics. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ortega, I have to ask you this question, and, and, and please don't feel offended. And the reason why I have to ask you this question mm -hmm. is because a lot of people have been saying it, and I don't know if you've heard it, and I have to ask all the parties this question. As founder of a new political party, you know, people are saying that your party and the others are not really serious political parties. They're actually there, put there by one other political party, just as to mess up the horses. I don't know if you've heard it, but this is what being said. You know, we, 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 there's a lot of rumors out there. And yes, we have heard the rumors of splinter parties, as they call it. That um, certain you know, people don't use you know, that term. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I just telling you like how it is. <laughs> you know, that's no. how we have heard it. That you heard these it, parties, it, it, use the word, parties, the they, 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 they don't, they don't really exist. They just a chip <laughs> off of those that are there already, whichever way, whichever way they look at it. Uh -huh. You know, and 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 at, at, at times I used to get upset. You know, like me, never. You see, that's why I never caution to ask you that question. How, how, how could they think that? <laughs> you know, you're doing something out of your heart, and then, and then uh -huh. you, 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 you really start dissecting what is, um, what is going on, and you really start realizing that people are living, and, and I, I mean this with all due respect for my, for my people of St. Martin, they are living in, 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 this, in this era that it cannot be. Mm that five new political parties came out to contest elections. We have never had that before. So there, something got to be wrong. Something has to be wrong. So what happens, then people start talking, what could be wrong and what could, you know, conspiracy theories. But realize, because of the situation that we are having now with regards to politics on the island, with regards to leadership on the island, is one of the reasons why we have five new political parties. Regardless if those five political parties are taken seriously everywhere, or they, are, they, they, they want to come out in full force, or they want to join forces with whomever, the reality is five new political parties came out for one of the reasons, because we done. We fed up with the way that politics, St. Martin is governed. And I'm not singling out not one political party, but you not know, singling out none. You know something, Mr. Ortega, I think the reason why people are saying that the new parties are there as a, a distraction to make sure one party gets more votes is that, and I, I use it in a term that is used by our local people so they can understand when mm -hmm. they watch this program, is that in the past that has happened, and sometimes people are still living in the past, and they think that well, what happened many years ago is probably happening again. So that's why it's leaders and party founders like you will have to assure the voting public that you are not one of those kind of political parties. Definitely, definitely, Mr. Gibbs. Um, I believe that, that whatever happened in the past, and history can repeat itself, but what we could definitely speak for is SDM, Samad Development Movement. We, we are not any chip off those old blocks. We are not no splinter party to no, to no existing political party. Um, we do not, we do not um, bash. We believe in not bashing each other. Um, we believe in not fighting each other, but speaking the truth about each other. And I think if, if, if that is seen as, that is seen as, 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 as whomever, as, hey, whoa, you know, we, we got to watch these guys then because they, 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 might, they might become strong. Mm. And those, 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 those rumors are out there, too. Everyone is watching each other. Everyone is watching each other, especially now, Mr. Gibbs. Uh -huh. Especially now. So um, right now, y y your party, do you have people that you can count on that if, say, the elections are held tomorrow, that you have people that can run with you? Yes. Yes, Mr. Gibbs. I'm, I'm fortunate to say I have a very strong team. 
Um, we are, uh, you know, we, we're not going to lie. We, we, it's, it's, it's becoming more and more difficult to, 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 to find good candidates. Candidates, not good candidates in the sense that those that are there are not good, mm -hmm. but professionals, whether young or old, that want to take the step and come out for their country. Want to take the step to come out for their country. That's difficult, Sir Martin. That is difficult for Sir Martin. You know why? Mm -hmm. And this is not a rumor. We know that we have been experiencing, well, you, you're not part of this, this political party, you're part of that one, and, you know, we might look at you differently and so forth. We are a small community at the same time. We are a big country, but a small community. And I think we have a far way to go in our look on professionals and seeing someone as yourself, as myself, as whomever is next to us in their political field or their professional field as a person wanting to do good, and not a person with a color. Not a person with a color. But you know, uh, Mr. Ortega, the other thing is, Simran, is that names are very important, yes. last names. Yes. The last name Gibbs is known mostly on the French side. Mm -hmm. The last name Ortega. People say, who, who he is? No, we ain't, we're, no, we're, no we're, we're not wait, no wait, dictators. Wait, no, no. Wait, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> but you know, they say, yeah. Ortega, where are you from? Yeah. Not realizing that you come from a very big family and your mother's from Sibra. You see, so yeah. sometimes the last names can really throw people yeah. off. I don't even get that experience. I, we, we get that experience, but I, I must say that, um, uh, you know, uh, thank my, my dad for that. <laughs> you know, uh, he, he uh, came here many years, uh, many years ago from Curacao. Um, I believe it was even more than like 45 years Long ago time. that my father yeah, came here. He's a here, fine gentleman. Yeah. You know, and he has worked uh, throughout St. Martin, and a lot of people know him. Um, and, and my mom mm -hmm. and, and, her, and her background, you know, people might hear Benjamin Ortega, but when they find out who is Benjamin Ortega, Benjamin Ortega is a son of the soil. He is not only Dutch, we are French side. We are Anguillian side, we are Carousellian side, we are all side. And that is another thing that we have to also, um, how you say, honor here in St. Martin, that we are a people that come from different nations, but still we still home. I don't consider no French side and Dutch side. Right. I consider St. Martin. We might have the north side, south side. There might be two countries on one island. But we are from St. Martin. Because when I go over to my French brothers and my French sisters on the other side, I am home as well. I'm home as well. And I, I, wanna, I wanna welcome all St. Martiners on St. Martin. And we have to understand that when we look at St. Martin back in the days, there were, there were no differences as they are now. But you know what? Or a lot less. You know what happened now, Mr. Ortega? Now, when I. Sometimes when I'm driving and I hear people calling and, and some of the other calling shows, I hear them saying, but his last name ain't Richardson. <laughs> his last name isn't this. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. People are so hooked up now on the last name mm -hmm. that, so when they hear Ortega, I assume probably you probably had some problems initially because they're not realizing that the name, they can't judge you by the name. See, and that's becoming a problem on this other way. There's certain people who are sitting down and they're looking for the last name. And if the last name doesn't sound like a last name that they call a St. Martin last name, then you know what? Well, coming out and starting a political party, we, we took note of, of that. Again, SDM is a movement. It is not Benjamin Ortega. Benjamin Ortega is the founder, but it has a lot of Smart names also involved in SDM. That gradually, everyone mm -hmm. will take note of every last Samaritan last name involved in, in, in SDM. And I think that we should step away from that, from that way of, of a thinking also. But that's going to come from leaders like you, because that's, it's, 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 yes. it's, it's, it's the leadership that's causing that problem, by the way, on this island. Well, you know. It's <laughs> political, the political establishment has created that over the years, not just yesterday. So it's going to take a while. It, it will take, I think it will take less of a while because of how we are right now. We are looking and searching for a change, whether if we do it consciously or unconsciously. It is how it's brought forward. And I think bringing it forward in a truthful manner is the right way to do it. 
And giving that opportunity, we will show St. Martin that there's a difference to be made. We can show St. Martin that their cries, our everyday cries, are going to be heard, not only around election time, not only around election time. And that's, that's a phenomenon we have here also on St. Martin. You know, you're only important before and right after voting time. What happens to the years before and after? We need, we need to realize what, what, where we come from and where we are right now. We cannot, we cannot have ourselves be taken for a ride. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to sound too negative towards our Samaritan people. But we have to understand that it's we, the Samaritan population, that is in charge. We are the ones that put and take away politicians. We are the ones that have the true power. We need to start using that power. Don't say what they could do for me. No, tell them what you want them to do for you and ensure that they do it. Um, politics is kind of strange in a way, in that you know, a lot of politicians will say a lot of things. And then they'll forget. I give an example. They say, well, you know, you're important now, and after election, you're not important, which you said earlier. Yes. But I've seen, yep. I've seen so many politicians realize that after the election, they're so busy, things are so hectic, they don't have time for the little man anymore. You know, that, 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 that is, can be true. I, I, I can't detest that because I, haven't, I haven't been yet. elected as yet, I, so I can't say if that is true or not. But it is somewhat sad. If that is the fact, it's somewhat sad. Because we have to remember the ones that put us there. Every political party comes with a, a campaign. Every political party comes with a, a champion of, of, of measures and actions they, they believe in. And, and that is your, your core values one time. That's your core value. So if one of the things that you're saying that you're going to listen to the people and you're doing what the people say, and after election time, you don't listen to the people and you do what you want, that's mm -hmm. one of your core values that you're breaking. And, 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 and SDM, and, and we believe in, in coming with measures that are directly measurable, simple, direct, measurable, SDM. And no empty promises. I'm not going to promise you we're going to put a, 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 a new runway in St. Peter's, because we know that that is not achievable, coming with achievable goals. If we add up everything that was promised mm. <laughs> from, from way back when up until now, well, we, would have had a, 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 we should have had a, a, a riches and gold and a mountains of such, but we don't. We need to come, we need to come with, 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 with actions. We need to come with solutions that are achievable on a daily basis, that could make a difference tomorrow for the people today, instead of promising the world tomorrow. You know something, now, Mr. Ortega? Um, I've been doing television now for 30 something, 33 years, these mm -hmm. programs. And the last election we had, two people got elected to parliament. These two people, oh man, the first time they came on this program, they couldn't wait to come back. They came back a second time. Mm -hmm. People loved them so much. They got elected to office, yeah. and they went into parliament. <clears throat> you know I couldn't get those people back in this program to speak anymore after that? You see, because they had gotten what they wanted. Exactly. They had walked a quick one of the people. Oh, they came on Oral Gibbs Live. People loved them. People mm -hmm. called, talk, and everything. It was great. And then they became members of parliament, and you're watching. You know who I'm speaking about. And you know what? All of a sudden, they didn't have time anymore to come on this show, the show that really, in a way, helped them get there. Now they couldn't address the people anymore because the people wasn't important. So when I speak, and I, I tell people when I speak about especially politicians on this program, I speak about 33 years of television experience, and if I put broadcasting into it, it's almost 40 years. And I have been, and I was interviewed from the late Betiku Cruz 
to Claude Wadi, to many of the politicians in Curacao who, who are there and who are not there anymore. I have the experience of listening to politicians and seeing what happened. And unfortunately for me, and it's not putting you down, there are not many of them that really live up to what I expect of them for what they have said, especially here on this mm -hmm. program. So that's why when I, when I said to you about that, I mentioned I gave the example of two members that in Parliament that came here did great, and after they got elected in Parliament, we couldn't get them back anymore. You see, so it's not that I'm, I'm just you know. Well, that's 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 in, that's indeed what I'm saying. I'm, I'm I don't know who those members of Parliament that you're referring to. Right. Um, for me, uh, sorry to say, not that I don't care, but it's not important to me right now. Important is is that that when you speak with a passion, and we want to continue the passion of speaking for the people. And the only way you're going to continue speaking the passion for the people, or the people's passion, actually, is being involved with the people. I, I, once, I once told someone that, um, because we were preparing ourselves for the new elections, which should have been held a couple of years from now. And we're saying that when you prepare for elections, you prepare for elections the day after the previous election, meaning you don't stop. That is for, for us being successful. Look at government and look at running and governing a country as a professional task. When we start a business, you want your business to thrive for success. You want your party, your association, your movement to thrive for its success. So you should and you will do everything in a proper business manner to ensure that that what you're busy with is successful. Turning a deaf ear will not make you successful. And that we need to understand when we talk about new politics. New politics is not... Um, you know, uh, y your parents used to vote for me, so you need to vote for me now, too. No. The young professionals, those that, whether they went away to study or not, that are here living on St. Martin, want something different, not only for themselves, but for their generation to come. We talk about the millenniums. We talk about a, a lot of different movements that are happening right now that are showing us that we're not taking it the way how they used to do it. But I don't hear that from them, Mr. Ortega, because they're the, they're the most, they're the silent group of intellectuals and educated people, and I'm very, very disappointed in that group. Well, Mr. Gibbs, right after that elections were canceled or postponed to the 26th of September, they say we went silent also. SDM have not been silent. We have been working on a daily basis in the grassroots. We have been speaking to people weekly, going by families, finding out what is their concerns. We don't have to put it on a big plaque or show up every week in the newspaper telling the people how great we think we are and how much this we're going to do and how much that one is doing bad for the people to realize that change is coming. Having the opportunity to sit on your program, having the opportunity to partake in initiatives like the weekend that went last with the SXM Doot. We didn't do that for, 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 for recognition. You didn't see us come out uh, in the papers and stating that, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And I'm not bashing those who did, because we was doing it for the good of that initiative. We want to see those types of initiatives on a daily basis, small, large, and then you make a difference. Can you tell you some again, and this is from experience, all the things you've said there. You know, I've spent my life working for this island, working for the people of this island very quietly. Mm -hmm. I've contributed thousands of dollars of my own money to very various causes and foundations, etc assisted many people very quietly. Never be seen a photograph of me in any paper, anywhere, standing up with a person making a presentation. And you know what? So people don't know. Yeah. This is an island 
Unfortunately, though, if you don't do that, Mr. Ortega, come in next election, you got to be really good because you know what? They're going to say, but well, he wasn't walking. Where you show up from now? Because this is just the way our people are. And I'm telling you now from my experience. So, yes, I've seen some of the other political parties put out a picture that they took part in that event that you mentioned and you didn't do it. Take my little silly advice next time around, put your picture partner. Doesn't matter. In the end, what you do is put on, hey, I, I mean, my biggest problem is I like to give free stupid advice. Maybe it's a stupid advice, but your competitor is doing it. Not Mr. going Gabe, to do it. I, I thank you for your advice and I accept your advice. And I say that it wasn't important to do, but it was not the most important thing to do. But they want to see you. They want to see you. They want to see me. You know where, where they want to see? They want, they want to, where they want to see us? Next to them. Exactly. But they also they want to see, see us picture. talking to them and not using them as a propaganda moment. People are fed up. Even up to last night, Mr. Gibbs, I'm speaking with this group, and, and, and they're saying, you know, I, 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 I don't know what else to do, but um, we're, not moving off. we're not moving forward. I say, why are you not moving forward? Because we are not standing with the populist. That is what St. Martin politics has become, a popularity thing, contest. It shouldn't be, Mr. Gibbs. It should be something oh, yeah, that I, is accountable. Accountability, integrity. The issues that we are facing now. And I believe, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I hope I'm wrong, but things are going to get worse if we don't start changing ourselves now. Start changing the way we look at each other. Start changing the way we speak about each other. Start changing the way we move forward together instead of holding each other back. The only way you're going to do that, Mr. Gibbs, is embracing each other truthfully and not for a picture up. Truthfully. Right. And yes, propaganda, marketing, media is going to work perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, what are you going to do for me today? That is what's going to count. Well, you know, they're going to ask you that on the Camp Hill Trail, uh, what you can do today. And uh, I, I think that what people really want is that what can be done for their uh, next generation, their children and grandchildren. Ooh. Unfortunately, that's not really the case in St. Martin. I heard you mentioned it earlier. I hope we have changed over the years because, again, Probably maybe I've been around too long, or maybe I'm too skeptical. But every person I've spoken with that ran on the political party list, and you haven't got there yet to mm -hmm. really get the real test of it, then you will see a change in the same people that you're speaking to right now. Uh, right now, they love you and they'll tell you all their problems. But when it comes to come down to the wire, a few days before election, remember this. <laughs> They'll be walking, bringing you cards and showing them to you and tell you, I got five, six, seven in my house, what you can do for me. They don't want to hear a beautiful speech anymore. But I just telling you because, you know, St. Martin's a unique place. We can see what's going on right now. They're investigating vote buying, et cetera. And it's, it's, it's complicated, let's put it that way. Mr. Gibbs, I am happy, although very sad to speak about this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you brought it up. When we talk about change, Mr. Gibbs, we only should not only look at the politicians. We should look at ourselves, too, from within. And when I say that, we are in political turmoil, as I use it again, because of the way how we do things, the way how we did things. And I'm, I'm, I'm not commenting on what um, what is going on? No, we don't have to do a comment. Because I, I believe I believe that will sort itself out. But I would like to mention something. In every transaction, Mr. Gibbs, there are always two persons: buyer and a seller. And when we, people of St. Martin, stoop so low to sell our soul for a measly whatever. It's hurting. Because tomorrow, you don't have anything to say. 
that is hurting Mr. Gibbs. And I believe that the generation that we are looking at right now is realizing that we cannot survive on that anymore. We used to help each other. The big brother helping you. Big brother ain't helping you no more, you know, Mr. Gibbs. You need to provide for yourself at the same time. And providing for yourself at the same time is saving this, having a voice, having something to say, and holding those that you put in place accountable mm. to preach your voice, to honor your voice. But what and it, it, might, yeah. it might not be tomorrow for SDM, but it's something for a change that needs to happen. Because if not, we are all going to be sorry. But why, what if, uh, if the politicians, instead of putting it on the people as the sellers, what um, they're selling, the people are selling their vote, right? But the politicians are, in this case, allegedly the buyers. Maybe the buyers should say, I'm not taking, if I walk down the, guy, the road and the guy offer me uh, drugs, I, I don't want it. It's not good for me. Definitely. I, I, think, I think that the politicians, the political parties, all of, all of them should make a pledge to not do that, because then we will see what will happen on this island. Yeah. Let, the, let the people with the most integrity, the leaders, the political parties, let them decide to refuse to pay for that vote. I know one thing for sure, Mr. Gibbs. SDM and any member of SDM will not be involved in those type of actions, whether before, during, or after any political election time. And you know the thing is, uh, Mr. Ortega, take for, if I'm a politician, I, I'm, I'm taking care of making sure my party get elected. And I go to visit a home, and there's a mother with four or five children, there, and, and I can see they're hungry, they have no mm -hmm. food. So I gave them $150 to help them out. Am I buying their vote? I mean, I, I just, you know, I'm a very compassionate person. Mm -hmm. I can't go to a home and see a person suffer. So no, I can't give that family $150. I can't go to the supermarket and, and bring back food for them. Yes, Mr. Gibbs, unfortunately, we are living in times that the fine line, mm -hmm. we have to be very careful how we do things, when we do things, and to whom we do things. And your integrity, Mr. Gibbs, is all that will count tomorrow. What we are saying is that we need to provide to ensure that that poverty level that we have on St. Martin, that is steadily growing, that that is something of the past. So take a, before the break, with Springbok poverty is so it's, it's growing on this island. Serious issue, mm. Mr. Mr. Gibbs. Um, you know, not too long ago there were there was there was a a, a, a platform held in, in a panel discussion held on poverty, and um, uh, fortunately, as as DM was also invited to to share our views with regards to poverty on the island. And during that panel discussion, Mr. Gibbs, we we noted that there's a lot of issues with regards to communication. And we believe that, 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 that people are, are not only hungry, literally, because there are a lot on St. Martin, but they're hungry for information. So when you sit with someone that, that, that is in, in dire straits and they need help, sometimes helping them is not giving them, per se, money. It's giving them the information and giving them the guidance as to where they need to be to ensure that they could make a living for themselves. Right now, we have a serious issue, Mr. Gibbs, according to our research, with regards to, 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 to youngsters, whether or not between the age, ages of 16 to 30 years old, that are jobless. How are they eating? How are they feeding their family? Some of these youngsters, are the sole providers for the for their entire household. So you understand, Mr. Gibbs, that poverty nowadays comes in all levels. And that is where we think that we need to address work, creating jobs, not, again, 
We're not bashing anyone with any program that was put in place prior to elections. No get off the bus. Those programs, they were all initiative that was really good. But today, today, Mr. Gibbs, how much of those young entrepreneurs have work if there's no work on the island? So you understand that the cycle of poverty doesn't only look at the parents. They're also looking at the youngsters that has to provide for themselves and has to learn to make a living for themselves. So when we look at poverty, Mr. Gibbs, we need to look at poverty as a growing problem. Well, you know, um, the first person to publicly speak about poverty in this island was me on this program. And when I did it, mm -hmm. do you know what major political party did? They accused me of instigating the public against them. They will call the party name. All I said that we had now approached a different thing, a different area in our country where we had children going to school and they didn't have anything to eat. They left home hungry. They went to sleep hungry. And I was almost killed by politicians. Today now, all the politicians are now realize, oh, yes, we have poverty, and we have to do something. So we've come all the way around. And unfortunately, there's always someone that's going to have to take the blows. I took the blows. But now, we're looking back, sad to say it's getting worse. And I hope that new parties like you probably can do something about it. Well, given the opportunity, Mr. Gibbs, I think we will do something about it. We will investigate proper on what levels of poverty they are. Because there, there, there are some papers that are out there, Mr. Gibbs. And these papers clearly identify mm -hmm. the problem areas, clearly identify in which brackets we are, dis we are talking about. But I'm not hearing anything about those papers yeah. now. Is it because we're too far away from election time? We need to start handling these things on a daily basis. We need to start motivating, creating, and ensuring that there are jobs for our people. Well, Mr. Bottega, we have the time. I give you a minute to say whatever you have, want to say in closing to the viewers. Well, first and foremost, I would like to thank Mr. Mr. Gibbs um, for inviting us to, to his uh, program, giving us the opportunity to speak to the general public. We believe, as SDM, we need to improve the quality of life. Improve the quality of life does not mean only for monetary. Improving the quality of life is your safety. Improve, improving the quality of life is ensuring that your tax and your tax breaks is also just. Improving the quality of life is ensuring that the housing development on St. Martin improves and is better for each one, young and old, to own something that they call their own. Improving the quality of life is walking down the road and ensuring that we have street lights that are properly lit, improving the safety for every individual on St. Martin. SDM, improving the quality of life. Well, Mr. Ortega, I want to thank you for coming in and much success with you and your party, all right? Thank you, Mr. Gibbs. That's it for now. I'll see you next time. Till then, good night. Take care. Bye.